Welcome to Toxim, an online community for Middle Eastern music. This is Andrew Kazirian. I started this with my partner, Adam Hovagimian, a very good friend of mine and a fellow musician. We wanted to give people an opportunity to experience, learn, and take part in an online Middle Eastern music community. We'll be doing blog posts, we'll be doing podcasts, we'll be featuring all kinds of guests in the coming months. And one of the interesting things we're doing is we're going to be offering instructional videos on various Middle Eastern instruments. And we're going to be starting today with this instrument called the Oud, O-U-D. I just wanted to take this opportunity to welcome you all to our instructional videos. Welcome to Toxim, and let's get started. Welcome to Toxim. This is Andrew Kazirian. We are going to begin our Oud instructional videos today. And I wanted to start things off by talking a little bit about this instrument, the Oud, explaining a little bit of its history, its background, some of the geography, and how that kind of plays into the instrument. So historically, this instrument started to appear I'd say around maybe four or 5,000 years ago in its simplest ancient form, so to speak. And it was in the a modern day Iran and Iraq part of the Middle East, which is basically ancient civilization wise, Babylon, Mesopotamia, those regions in terms of the historical reference. So over time, the instrument spread all throughout the world, especially in North Africa, all over the rest of the Middle East, parts of Europe, parts of Asia. Obviously, it's also in the US and Canada and everywhere else. So the instrument has become very common. It's found all over the world. It plays all different styles of music. You may have seen that yourself or heard in various recordings. The instrument is definitely not this specific cultural narrow thing that's only in the Middle East. That's definitely not the case in the modern reality. It's a really fun instrument. I've been playing it for a long time. Since I was in my teen years, I started guitar and then I moved over to the Oud as well. I'd always seen it in the community where I grew up in the East Coast in Philadelphia. I'm of Armenian background, so I grew up hearing Armenian oud players, but over time I also listened to and studied various players, Arabs, Palestinians, Turks, Jewish players, Greek players, all kinds of different players. They were all giving their different style and influence to the instrument's history and canon of music. With that said, that's kind of like the historical cultural part of it. Very briefly, just to get a quick overview, this is the instrument, this is what it looks like. You have a peg box, which features pegs for the 11 strings, and we'll get to the tuning later. Then you have the very distinctive neck, which is fretless, unlike a guitar. And that's a key, unique component of the instrument, was when you play it, you have a fretless dynamic, and that's very unlike most instruments, like for example, pianos and guitars, which are incremental in nature. They always move a pitch at a time very distinctly. The oud is more similar to a violin, although we don't bow the oud, we pluck it, and I'll get uh, to the plectrum in a second. So this is a fretless instrument that is plucked. So it's very unique sound, very unique tone, for example. And that's something that really sets it apart from a lot of other stringed instruments as well. So after the neck, you have it bringing us to the face of the instrument, which is made out of unfinished spruce. And that allows the instrument to resonate very richly and deeply and kind of gives it its unique tone and sound. On the back, you have various hardwoods, typically maple or walnut. It kind of depends what the luthier or the oud maker wants to fashion on it in terms of his craftsmanship. Another key unique thing is on the fingerboard, the wood is made out of ebony, which is a very strong hardwood, and that allows the instrument to sound very strongly in terms of when you're sounding your notes and in terms of how you pluck it and finger it with your fingers like this. And we'll be getting more into that as I get into further instructional video lessons, but just wanted to give a brief background some of the history, some of the culture, how diverse and versatile the instrument is culturally, and also the uh, kind of basic components so you can actually understand and know what you're playing. We'll see you soon. <laughs> 